On today's video, we'll be reviewing Costco's North Rock XC00 Fat Tire Bike. I've had a chance now to ride this bike in some light snow slash a little bit of ice, uh, some loose gravel, kind of woods, uh, try quite a few areas, and overall I've been really impressed how it performs. Fat bikes are a lot of fun to, to ride. It's like being on a, a big monster truck that can just plow through anything. Uh, bushes, logs, everything, it just seems like you kind of go over and kind of barely even feel it on the bike itself. And fat bikes won't go as fast as a road bike, and uh, this one in particular isn't really designed for, you know, doing big jumps or doing aggressive downhills, but for uh, kind of trail riding, exploring, kind of getting around, getting a good workout in, this bike works great. Since fat bikes are a larger size, uh, typically the price of them uh, go up quite a bit. It's common to see uh, fat bikes uh, in the $1,000 plus range. And uh, for me, I really didn't want to spend that much on, on a bike. It's just something fun to go out and ride on. Uh, looking at a lot of reviews, there'd be a lot of people that was like, hey, you have to go through and spend that amount. But this bike, uh, being uh, just a little bit over $400, worked uh, really well, had a ton of fun with it. From the research I did, this entry-level bike was a lot better than a lot of other competitors on the market. Uh, for one, it comes with an aluminum frame, uh, which makes it a lot lighter. I think the bike is overall around 35 pounds, uh, versus a lot of entry-level bikes will be a steel frame and ends up being closer to 50 pounds. It also comes with a quick shifter. A lot of other entry-level bikes will kind of have more of a twist shift, but the quick shifter uh, is a lot nicer. The mechanical uh, disc brakes seem to work really well. Uh, I saw a lot of reviews of people saying, oh, you're going to have to upgrade to hydraulic brakes, but to me, they really stopped uh, quickly. didn't have any issues with them. So here you can see the pedals got metal around the outside, some plastic inside, nothing uh, too special there. The bike comes with uh, seven speeds, uh, which I kind of really like. It makes the bike simpler, not having so many gears, uh, less complicated, less things to, to break down. There were, uh, looking at this bike, some negative reviews on when to have a lower gear set setting to it. Uh, for me, it was plenty uh, to get up a lot of steep hills and stuff, if anything, it kind of felt like I just need to get some better endurance and strength to kind of get up some of the hills. The bike doesn't come with any suspension, but uh, overall, I think with fat tire bikes, uh, you don't really need it. The tire itself picks up a lot of the absorption, and I didn't really notice any issues going over bumps and so forth. I just seemed to glide over it, no problem. One con that I came across with the bike was the clearance between the tire and the pedals themselves and I think this is probably a could be a common thing between fat tire bikes just because the wheels are so big um, but as you can see on the clip here if you get the pedal just right and the tire turned to the right area the pedal can uh, rub up against the bike tire itself and as I was riding along it, uh, it would periodically yeah. uh, hit with my foot kind of hanging over a little bit of the pedal uh, so it was a little bit annoying and never really uh, did anything bad you just kind of hear the noise sometimes it might slow you down a little bit from where you're going um, but overall I was able to just kind of learn how to just ride more on my toes where it wasn't uh, rubbing up against the tires like that and typically you have to be turning the bike pretty sharp to do that in any case so a lot of times you're kind of going slower speed so it's not as big of a deal the only other thing I wish they would have done with the bike is to have it uh, the tires be tubeless ready uh, it seems like it's something that a lot of fat tire bikes kind of come pre-equipped. So overall, I'd say the bike is really good for the price. Is it perfect? No. Uh, would I be willing to spend double or triple or quadruple <laughs> the amount to, on another bike for the upgrades? No, I think overall this bike is really good. All right, that's it for the review. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's, got me. it's hard to hold this. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty fun. You left a big poop streak.